Hey guys, Spina Dude here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 Papo Compsognathus. Alright, so, Papo Compsognathus. Now, where did they get this completely original design from, hmm? <laughs> Alright, but seriously, I've actually been hoping for a while that someone would tackle the Lost World Compsognathus because there really aren't many good figures of that particular interpretation of this animal out there. And I think Papo really just nailed it with this one. I could sit here and rip this figure apart for being scientifically inaccurate. There are countless problems with it, of course, but it's obvious that's not what they wanted to make. They didn't want to make the real animal. They wanted to make something inspired off of Jurassic Park. And in that regard, I think they nailed this one. I guess first of all, I'd like to address the coloration on here, which is great. The green color with the dark green striping. I like the peachy color coming up on the tail more and around the throat area, of course. The colors look really nice, and the mold almost has this semi-transparency to it, which gives it a different look from the rest of Papo's figures. It doesn't capture the crisp detail that other Papo figures have, but it has this certain unique quality to it that I really like, particularly just the visual aspect of the material this figure is made out of. It's a little bit different. Speaking of detail, there are some nice details on the sculpt, but it's nothing to write home about. Nice little wrinkles and folds in the skin. Once again, not quite as crisp as figures from Papo's past, but still is better than some other companies. Now, one of my biggest gripes with the sculpt is actually the way this arm is attached. This arm is a separate piece, obviously, and it's very obvious with that seam line. The other arm looks fine, although you can kind of tell that this one was attached separately as well. Other than that though, the rest of the sculpt is really good. The head on this one is super charming, has that cutesy look that the compies had in the Lost World of course, and this one does have the signature Papo articulated jaw. Function wise, the articulated jaw works really nice on this one, but visually it's not the best because the plastic color changes drastically between the back of the throat and the bottom jaw, of course. But, like I said, function-wise, it's still really good. The interior of the mouth is okay. It's not the best I've seen from Papo, but this is incredibly small if you look at the size of my fingers next to it. I'm actually surprised they even decided to put an articulated jaw on this tiny figure. The teeth are carved out. They're not the best teeth I've seen from Papo. There is a nice fleshy pink color on the interior of the mouth, and there are some nice details, particularly on the tongue and on the roof of the mouth in there. The eyes are actually really beautiful. I really like the glossy coat of paint on those, gives them a genuine wet look. And I really just appreciate all of the lizard-like wrinkles and details around the head and across the entire body in general. It just really captures the reptilian look of the Lost World Compsognathus really well. I will say I don't like the gaps behind the head either, you can really tell that the entire head was a separate piece, but it's nowhere near as bad as the right arm, in my opinion. And I've actually seen quite a few complaints regarding the posture on this figure. I don't see the problem. Maybe because it ended up being a tripod instead of a bipedal figure? Because the tail does weigh the figure down in the back and it does like to lean backwards. Would have looked great as a bipedal figure, but it's really not the worst from Papo. And I think the pose captures that really curious look that the compies had in the Lost World. And I can see what some people mean regarding the legs particularly, the from the front the legs look a little bit awkward, splayed out. But yeah, I mean that was a very quick review, but I really think that sums up my thoughts on this one as a whole. I, like I said, I could dig into this figure and rip it apart for its scientific inaccuracies, but it's obvious that Papo didn't want to make an accurate copy. They just went all out for a Lost World Compsognathus, which I'm pretty happy with overall because it's Papo we're talking about. When have we ever expected an accurate dinosaur figure from them? Sure, we've gotten some good ones in the past, but as far as animals featured in the Jurassic films, we've always gotten the animals from the Jurassic films. So if you're looking for an accurate Compsognathus, this is not the figure for you in any way, shape, or form. But if you're a Jurassic Park fan, and you want a good figure of Compsognathus that isn't overly expensive, I really do recommend this one. I think it's a very nicely done piece. All right, and in case you're wondering how large this one is, it comes in at about seven inches long, 
which is about 17 centimeters. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the head there, we are looking at about four and a half inches, which is about 12 centimeters. And for a very quick comparison, these two are out of scale, but here is Papo's attempt at the Lost World Pachycephalosaurus. How scary would it be to see a swarm of these copies this big? I mean, we saw how big this Pachy was in comparison to a human. But yeah, anyway guys, that's going to do it for my review of the Papo 2018 Compsognathus. Let me know if you have this one down below, and if you don't, do you plan on getting it? Or just let me know your thoughts on it in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you liked, and I'll see you all in my next video. So take care, and bye bye